Good day everyone, I am Jambi M. Mateo and we will be discussing the interpersonal theory by Harry Stack Sullivan. So before proceeding to his theory, let us talk about first who is Harry Stack Sullivan and what are his um, contributions. So, Harry Stack Sullivan is considered as the father of interpersonal psychiatry. So, uh, one of his major contributions is the elimination of the concept of the mind from his system of psychiatry thought. So, as a child, Sullivan's um, closest friends were the farm animals with whom na nafe-feel niyang comfortable siya and less lonely. So, uh, his childhood experience of social isolation and loneliness might have been the incentive or reason for his later interest in psychiatry. So his keen self-awareness contributed to his uh, later work, the schizophrenia, a human process. So uh, this explores the impact of personal experience on the development of mental illnesses so although it don't see sullivan uh, superior siya in grade school and high school he had no uh, friends and he turned to books companionship so mas um ginusto niyang magbasa ng magbasa so um it was stated in 2003 by chatelaine uh, loneliness was the the key feature of Sullivan's theory and he is reported to have commented to his close colleague of many years. Sinabi niyang, um, Edith, you don't know how lonely I am. So, um, Sullivan was actually died in a hotel room in Paris while attending a conference. So, um, 57 na yung age niya nung time na yun. So, nung uh, nag-start na siya mag-work as a practicing uh, psychiatrist, he, uh, pinakita niya na agad yung extraordinary ability niya to relate to his uh, patient suffering from schizophrenia. So, uh, his work with those suffering from psychosis, schizophrenia began with his ability to communicate with um, his patients. So he was born on February 21, 1892, and died on January 14, 1949. So he was a American psychiatrist who developed the theory of psychiatrists that was based on interpersonal relationships. So let us know more who is uh, Harry Stack Sullivan by um, discussing what he has done in the past. Of course, um, he made substantial contributions to clinical psychiatry, especially the psychotherapy of schizophrenia. So, uh, when we say schizophrenia, this is a serious mental, mental illness that affects how people think, feels, and behaves. This um, interferes person to think uh, clearly, manage their emotions, and make uh, decision. So, um, in other words, when we say schizophrenia, these are the long-term mental health condition. Sullivan uh, suggested that the mental functions and uh, schizophrenics, though impaired, are not damaged past repair and could be recovered through a therapy. So, uh, possessing an extra extraordinary uh, ability to communicate with schizophrenic patients so he also described their behavior with clarity and insight unrevealed at that time he also interpret the schizophrenia as the result of disturbed interpersonal relationships in early childhood so uh, by appropriate psychotherapy he believed that uh, th those sorts of uh, behavioral disturbance could be identified and eliminated. So, uh, naniniwala siya na yung mga behavioral disturbance na yun could be um, identified or pwede natin siyang malaman and 
maiwasan or mabawasan kahit papano. So, in 1929, by developing his ideas further, he applied them to the organizations of a special ward for the group treatment of male schizophrenic. So, tinuloy-tuloy niya yung um, concept niya of schizophrenia up until naging theory na siya of personalities. So, uh, by arguing the, that both uh, normal and abnormal personalities represents enduring patterns of interpersonal relationships. So, the buying theory ni uh, Sullivan, it, it explains the role of interpersonal relationship as well as the uh, social experiences in regards to shaping of uh, people's personalities. So, during the later years of his life, he more fully articulated his ideas in the interpersonal theory of psychiatry and the fusion of psychiatry and social science. So, it was published posthumously in year 1953 and 1964 respectively among of his others, other works. Another thing is that he developed a model of regarding failures in interpersonal uh, relationships as being largely responsible for mental illnesses. So, in his word, it is the interactional, not the interpsychic forces that must be studied in order to uh, find the causes and develop treat treatments for it. And also for um, even for the most severe psychosis. So, so much of that. We will now be proceeding to his theory, which is the interpersonal theory. So, I've already mentioned this uh, a while ago that. Um, interpersonal theory is a theory that explained the role of interpersonal relationships and social experiences so in regards to the shaping of personality so as well as the importance of life events to psychopathology it is also stated in his theory that the purpose of behavior is for the patient to have his or her needs met through interpersonal so i also have here the key concept of sullivan's interpersonal theory so sullivan um argued that individual self-identity is nabi build siya over the years through their perceptions of how they are regarded by significant people. So, kung paano sila uh, tinuturing or tinitreat ng mga tao within their environment. So, uh, because of this different stages in the course of behavioral development, it cor correspond to the different ways of interacting with other people. So let's move on now to the importance of interpersonal theory. So Sullivan's um, interpersonal theory provides the theoretical basis for interpersonal psychotherapy or the IPT, which is to treat patients with depressions and schizophrenia. He also wrote on techniques and approaches on psychiatric interview so uh, to summarize it the theory of personality development by uh, Sullivan is based on the belief that people's interactions with um, other people especially significant others determines their um, senses of security sense of self and the dynamism that motivates their behavior so the interpersonal theory will be discussed in depth by the next reporter. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned something. Hello everyone, I'm Jaime J. T. Baya, one of the reporters of Sullivan's Interpersonal Theory. And this will be the continuation of my partner. 
so hi hello um this will be a recap of what my partner said in our introduction so henry stock sullivan who is considered the father of interpersonal theory or psychiatry developed the interpersonal theory of nursing so this theory explained the role of interpersonal relationship and social experiences in regards to the shaping of personalities as well as the importance of life events to psychopathology. So sabi dito, um, this theory explains interpersonal relationship. When we say interpersonal relationship, it is our relationship with one another or how do we communicate with others. And also, social experience in regards to the shaping of personality. So, when we communicate, when we start socializing with others, our also our personality are also molded. No, nakakatulong sila na shape yung ating own personalities by having communication or interaction with them. Also. Um, it will also it is also important in life events especially in psychopathology so what is psychopathology psychopathology is the study of study of mental illness or disorders so nakakatulong itong interpersonal theory ni Sullivan sa mga nagkakaroon ng illness with regards with their mental health. It was also stated by Sullivan's interpersonal theory that the purpose of this is for the patient to have his or her needs met through interpersonal interactions as well as decrease or avoid anxiety. So, ginawa ito ni Dr. Sullivan, itong theory na to in order for the people or for the patient to meet, to have his or her needs met. Matagpuan nila yung mga needs nila, yung kanilang mga personal longings in life. And we're going to discuss that to our next slide, which is the stages of development. And now, as we can see here in our presentation, the PPT of stages of development, which is going to be started by infancy, next by childhood, then juvenile era, then pre-adolescence, early adolescence, and late adolescence. So in infancy, it will going it will be going to start at zero to three years old. The most important person is the mother, and tenderness is their interpersonal process. Then the learnings is good or bad. Another one is the childhood is going to start at two to six years old. The most significant people in here is their parents. Um, they have their imaginary playmates as their interpersonal process and syntactic language as their learnings. The third one is the juvenile era will be going to start at 6 to 8 years old. Um, they have here their playmates of course as, their, as the significant people at, their, at this stage. Then Living with peers or playmates is their interpersonal process. They have here the competition, um, compromise, and cooperation as their needs. The fourth one is the pre-adolescence. It's going to start at 8 to 13 years old. No? Single child. So it just means that they are looking for a peer or best friends kumbaga yung mga kasama na may papareho si pare-pareho silang interest, kagustuhan or others no basta they find it comfortable with this person so that's the 
meaning of single chums. Kumbaga, nagiging particular na sila sa mga nagiging kasama nila. Then, of course, the intimacy, no? Like what I've said earlier, yung kanilang significant people in here is yung mga best friends nila. So, nagkakaroon sila ng intimacy as, the, as their interpersonal process. And here, and here they are learning to be affectionate and respectful towards others. So here, another one is early adolescence. It will going to start at 13 to 15 years old. So it says here their significant people is the several chums. Kung kanina yung single lar lang siya single like best friends ganyan dito se several it means diba sa mga best friends nila nagkakaroon na rin sila ng intimacy towards their opposite sex like they ha are they ha are starting to have an opposite attraction no? sa kanilang peers sa kanilang mga kasama no? so here their interpersonal process uh, is intimacy and loss dito nagkakaroon na sila ng curiosity about their genital genital genitalias and also uh, of how they're going to communicate with their companions who is with their opposite sex no nagkakaroon na sila ng mga ganun then here then here they must learn how to balance security and operations they must learn this this learnings at this stage the last one is the late adolescence which is 15 years old above um, of course the significant person in here is the lover then the interpersonal process is fusion and fusion of intimacy and loss so, it between lovers na, kumbaga, settled na to yung you are already in a relationship, like, like that. So, when we say fusion in here, yung kumbaga, nagiging isa yung babae at lalaki. So, we already know it, the sexual intercourse will be coming in at this stage, no? Kasi, it is a life-generating stage na, so, so that's it. It includes the intimacy and loss. And of course, here they are discovering, or they start discovering their self and the world. So in order for us to understand further the Sullivan's life stages, in infancy, uh, primarily it focuses to the need exists for bodily contact and tenderness, like what I've said earlier. And also, the primary zones are oral and anal stage. So, dapat dito mag-fix na lahat yan, makuha na nila yan in order for them not to have a problem or fixation when they got older. So, ako personally, I do have the fixation in my oral stage since when I was still an infant until the age of 13, I'm pump sucking. It really, it really hurts to take it off. Kasi nga, nasanay ako na yun yung nagtatanggal ng anxiety ko, yun yung, yun yung ano, um, nagpapakalma sa akin, nagpapatulog sa akin. So, I just stopped that at the age of 13. Kasi I had the infection with my gums and if I'm not going to stop the thumb sucking of mine, I'll be having a, how do we call it, um, infection, no? gum infection. So I really need to stop that and I thank God I made it but it, it is really a struggle since for 13 years I am um, doing that no? so yun po yung mahirap mahirap on my part kasi I'm already um, in my juvenile era nung naitigil ko siya 
and also ngayon that I am already aware of my fixation, I'm still on that process na i-fix siya little by little. Kaya nga paminsan ay become talkative, too much talkative and yun nga, dahil nga I'm still fixated to that oral oral stage. And I thank God na nagiging aware ako every time I am in that um, situation na stress ako or any kind nagbibigay sa akin ng struggles or anxiety. So it was also said in here na kapag ka na meet yung oral and anal stage no, in our infancy, um, we will have the sense of well-being and if it is not un if it is not met or unmet needs leads to dread and anxiety so kailangan yung mga needs natin at that stage must be fulfilled in order for us not to have anxiety in near future now let's proceed to childhood no again like what i've said said earlier they have this problem i they have still not a problem they are still processing or having the discovery how to talk no? talk and walk so parents are viewed as the source of praise and acceptance so dito sa stage na to they are looking for word of affirmation so she paparat basic mode Experiences are connected in sequence to each other. So, primary zone is anal. Anal means their training, no? Their training how to poop and pee in a proper place. So, yan yung ibig sabihin, no? So, dapat um, at this stage also, ma-meet na nila yan, ma-fix na nila yan. In my personal, ano naman, um, example, I am thankful kasi we are trained since, since we're still young na hindi umihit sa bed. So, we're not that kind of other. We are not used to pee in our um, bed sheets or in our mats no? when we go to sleep. Kasi hindi kami sinanay nila mama. Like, we have always that arenola at our side kapag ka naiihit kami matik, nagigising talaga kami para umihit sa arenola so again if they are not going to meet this gratification or words of affirmation no, it will lead to moderate anxiety or certain uncertain and insecurity severe anxiety or results in self-defeating patterns of behavior. So, kailangan mamit nila ito in order for for them na magkaroon ng gratification kasi gratification leads to positive self-esteem. So, dito, nade-develop na yung kanilang self-esteem if they have meet the self-worth or the word of affirmation that they are looking for. Kaya nga, dapat napaka-importante na we give praises, word of affirmation sa mga bata. Like, very good. You've, you've done well. Continue doing it. We're proud of you. So, that are words of affirmation that boost the self-esteem of a child. And now, let's proceed to juvenile. No? Uh, here, it focuses to the, to the thinking ability about themselves and others based on analysis of experiences in a variety of situations. So, dito nagiging picky na sila ng mga kaibigan nila. They are more analytic, no? Of their experiences. Kasi, um, they are looking here for the trust, no? They are looking for acceptance and approval by their same peers in juvenile in juvenile era so if they have um, met or they have met that need no, need of acceptance by others they learn to negotiate their own needs so nakakaya nilang i-handle yung kanilang mga personal needs emotional man yan or mental 
uh, they already know how to negotiate. Pagka once na hindi naman nila na-meet si their anxiety may result in a need to control or in restrictive prejudicial attitude. So, pagka once naman na hindi nga nila yung na-meet, nagiging more prejudicistic sila, mapakusga, and another um, nagkakaroon sila ng severe anxiety. So, yan, yan yung reason. Kaya, kaya hindi kaya nagkakaroon ng problema yung kabataan about their way of communicating with others kasi dito pa lang hindi na nila na tanggap yung approval that they are looking for now the pre-adolescence pre-adolescence is 8 to 13 years old move to genuine intimacy with friends and same sex so, dito nagkakaroon na ng genuine intimacy with friends of the same sex. Yan, um, they are more, they are learning how to trust and be comfortable with their peers. No? So, usually, ito mga ganyan edad, they are more dependent na. They don't want to rely on their families or parents. No? A source of satisfaction in relationship na sila nakarelay dyan. They rely on their friends and peers na lagi nilang kasama. But, ag but then again, there's always positive and negative impact kapag uh, once na hindi na meet nila yung ganyan, yung trust or yung, yung kanilang socialization sa kapwa nila. So, capacity for attachment, love, and collaborate emerges or fail to develop. So, yan yung mga magiging dahilan pagkawans na hindi nila namit yung kanilang needs at this point. The next one is the early adolescence. So, here, no, um, they focuses on interpersonal equation is nakadagdag dito yung last needs for social special sharing relationship shifts to the opposite sex so dyan nagkakaroon na sila na um, curiosity and affection towards their opposite sex so yan the gain self esteem and self or self ridicule pagka once na hindi na meet yung isang bagay na kailangan na meet na nila at this stage so, you know, and also the last one is the adult or the late adolescent. So, sa late adolescence, yun na nga, be more focused on their life and the world. Nagiging more unselfish na sila. Parang they see the broader, the broader meaning or the broader, the broader image of their life sa pang-araw-araw nilang pamumuhay. And, and I'll going to end my report in here. I hope you've learned something from the life of Sullivan and his theory. Thank you and God bless.